G'day players, I just wanted to show you something that was actually important in this video where these three amazing green markers um, and these black canvas panels. They'll come up later in the video, but just a promo for now. With those pens, I swatched them as you can see I'm doing here, and I was able to develop this picture, which was of a Christmas bead. I'm not going to pronounce the scientific name because I'm going to absolutely butcher it, but I'm not going to do that. But as always, I went and put it into Illustrator and vectorized it. But I thought if I'm going to vectorize something that's traditional, I might as well go back to traditional and show you guys what I do from say a vector or a digital to uh, how I go about doing it to traditionally. And I use a couple of mediums, but for this I chose three that um, I think people would be more interested in. So I thought I would do that. So I'll wait until the end of this vector and, and I'll show you what happens. So it ended up being 2 hours and 15 minutes, uh, and that's from sketch to final, from me taking it through Vector, uh, a program called Illustrator, into Photoshop. 
So this is actually the finished final digital version of this file. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. As you can see, I ended up doing half the design and then finishing that half in Illustrator. It's pretty common for me. Um, I'm here tracing now on a light box, a black and white version of the beetle. Uh, that's only just because I can actually see it and I can see the, where certain colours can go. Uh, it just eliminates the problems of having colour for the next stage. I do actually have a colour version sitting right beside me. That's for me to make sure I've got all my swatches right. Um, and you can see I actually do go back over it, make sure I've got those finer details in the colour. Um, while I was doing this, um, as you can see, so a few things happened which are kind of funny. Um, I went straight to my Copic markers um, and I ended up having a little bit of trouble with the recording at the end uh, because you do miss the final details, but I continued that on as a sort of thing. Um, so yeah, this was me going through with Copic markers. And here we have the finished final A4 Copic version. Uh, I do all my line work at the very end, and all you missed out on with that was the marker failing at the legs and whatnot. So it does look a little bit funny on there, but it's fine. Um, here you see me tracing a certain size. That size is 4 by 6 just because the canvas was actually 4 by 6 which is actually smaller, just a little bit smaller than A5. Um, and here you see me going over with a white pencil on the back of the tracing paper. Um, this actually makes like a graphite sort of carbon transfer paper. Uh, the reason I used white was because it's black. Uh, I know you can buy carbon transfer paper in different colours, but for me this was just easy so that way I could see my line work and I didn't have to worry about anything. So, and as you can see, like I just used my mechanic pencil and the lines come out really clear, crisp and clear. And it took me about 30 minutes to do two little canvases, if that.
So what you're seeing here is the final finish of the acrylic. Um, and it took me four hours, and I think that was just purely because I was struggling with the whole factor of a black canvas. I'm used to a white canvas. Um, so that's what happened. Now, in here, this next one, I didn't actually do the tracings because I'd done it previously. I'm going straight in with the oil paint, um, which is a particular type of oil. It's called H2O oil. Um, this is a less, less toxic, less fumy version of oils. Uh, it's what I learnt on, um, other people learn on different things, but this is what I learnt on and I prefer this type of oil to tr more traditional oils because um, it doesn't require the same amount of toxins. Um, I'm not being an asthmatic, but I'm very aware of, you know, the certain things I breathe in. Um, this took me the less time and I think it's just purely because I'm so used to oils that it was sort of a negligible thing. Um, as I said, the only things that I did struggle, the things that I had struggled with previously in the last videos, which was the darks, uh, it was no issue here, and that's only probably because I work very light when it comes to oils. And here we see the final uh, oils going down and the finished final oil piece. Um, it took me two hours and I'm kind of ashamed of that because of what happened with the acrylic, but I suppose it was because I was using my first time using that acrylic uh, on Black Gesso. And here you see the finished three finals from the Copic, the acrylic, and the oil. Uh, as I said, there isn't much difference between this and the digital piece. It was just more the process that I do to go from one to the other. And this allows for certain things to happen, such as the colours, um, as well as where the lights and the shade should be, as well as important things like clean line art. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, I'll see you again soon. Bye.